Hello there. So the European Union is getting closer to passing a law from 2022 uh, about EU chat control law proposes scanning your messages even encrypted ones. So before I get further on from here I need to say what the encryption is and which types do we have. So I'm sure that some of you don't know uh, everything so I think this is a good thing to be aware uh, before understanding the whole topic, right? Uh, there are two types of encryption. The first one is between you and the messaging server. Bec basically every instant messaging application like, like WhatsApp and Signal and every other one out there has a client-server communications. Barely any client uses a peer-to-peer -peer connection nowadays. So there is a connection between you and the server and this is the first encryption part. So if you are somewhere at the airport or in a public Wi-Fi or in your friend's home or wherever Wherever there is anyone that is able to intercept your communication between your client and the server, this is the first part that is being encrypted, right? So when your message goes to the server, this part is encrypted and when the message goes from the server to your destination, to your friend or whoever you are uh, talking to, that part is encrypted as well. Some services don't have end-to-end -end encryption though. This is the second part that is quite important nowadays. For example, the default uh, chat in Telegram does not have end-to-end -end encryption, default chat. So when you pass a message to your friend on Telegram, uh, this is encrypted from you to the server and from the server to the end user. So basically, uh, nobody should be able to tap into your communication except Telegram and their employees. So this is where Telegram can do any uh, possible moderation that they want. So when they there are some, uh, let's call them terroristic chats going on, on on Telegram groups. This is the part that Telegram usually scans and uh, regularly deletes and bans. So in theory you, you can call this a good thing. There is also a signal that is been known as a um, completely end-to-end -end encrypted messaging system. Uh, they have uh, encryption from client to server, from server to the other client and the message that you send through the server to the end destination is also encrypted uh, with the key that only the destination user has uh, and is able to decrypt. So in case of Signal, Signal server actually cannot read your messages. So this is the good part. However, uh, they cannot really comply to any law enforcement who tries to force them to hand over your private communications because the whole system is designed in a way that they are unable to do so. So this part is good and bad depending your, on your uh, position, right? If you go back like 10 to 15 years ago uh, when WhatsApp was uh, first getting started, basically none of it was encrypted. No end-to-end -end encryption and no client-to-server encryption whatsoever. So I, I did some tests uh, on my my own router at home and basically I could just sniff network packets that, that are coming from my phone to the WhatsApp server and I can read them all in plain text. It, it was really easy and quite hilarious because uh, at the time nobody really cared about any kind of encryption because uh, it wasn't that widespread but now that times have changed and uh, the society is heading towards uh, more and more privacy and the right to be uh, having private chats with your family and friends this is getting uh, some well needed traction right especially in the news so from one point I can understand what the EU is trying to do here and I'm in no way defending this but uh, I understand the standpoint. They are saying that um, the law if implemented uh, would do the upload moderation system that scans all their digital messages including shared images, videos and links. Each service required to install this vetted monitoring technology must also ask permission to scan your messages. If you don't agree you will not be able to share images or 
or URLs. As if this doesn't seem wild enough, the proposed legislation appears to endorse the reject end-to-end -end encryption at the same time. So basically the um, provider of your messaging would be able to read all your messages uh, if the law asks them to hand over anything uh, that you have ever written. At first it highlights how end-to-end -end encryption is a necessary means to, of protecting uh, fundamental rights, but then goes on to say that encryption messaging services could inadvertently uh, become secure zones where child sexual abuse material can be shared or uh, disseminated. There are multiple ways of looking at this. The proposed solution to leave message uh, wide open for scanning, but somehow without compromising the layer of privacy offered by end-to-end -end decryption. It is suggested that the new uh, moderation system could accomplish this by scanning the contents of your messages before apps like Signal, WhatsApp and Messenger encrypts them. In response, uh, Signal President Meredith uh, Whitaker says the app will stop functioning in the EU if the rules become law. As proposal fundamentally undermines encryption, regardless of whether it's scanned before encryption or not. We call it a backdoor, front door or upload moderation, but whatever we call it, each one of these approaches creates a vulnerability that can be exploited by hackers and hostile nation states, removing the protection of unbreakable math and putting in its place a high value vulnerability. Well, here's my opinion on this. The idea behind this uh, basically has a somewhat good idea because protection protecting children uh, from abuse is certainly a good thing to do. However, the end result from all this, in my opinion, is going to be that the basic uh, normal users uh, are going to be left out of uh, secure communications, of private communications, and I'm talking about really good people, normal people who did not deserve to be spied upon. These are all people who are going to lose this uh, ability to have private communication, while at the same time the bad guys are not going to lose any encryption because they are simply going to switch to another application which is not being moderated. And by not being moderated, it, I am not even saying that this application is going to be in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store because it's really not that difficult to install anything you want on your phone and have whatever solution your organization requires. Speaking out of my memory, uh, a couple of years ago Apple has had an um, interesting idea where iPhones would scan the content of your screen if it's uh, if it's your child's phone uh, it would it would detect explicit images and basically block them before they are actually displayed on the screen and this all would happen on device so uh, the apple or no third party system would actually have any access to your child's phone but the images would get blocked by machine learning on device. If the legislation gains support, negotiations will begin between the EU's uh, Parliament Council and the Commission to form the final text of the law. But even with an endorsement uh, from EU governments, uh, chat control supporters may still have trouble pushing it forward. Last year, a poll conducted by the European Digital Rights Group suggested that 66% of young people in the EU disagree with policies allowing allowing internet providers to scan their messages. So there you have it. If the EU government promises to you that your children will get better support in court if they get targeted uh, by abusive people, would you take that solution before you would take your own parenting measures uh, and having complete control of your messaging and having everything private like we do have right now? This is a question for you who are watching and thank you for answering and I'm going to see you in the next video.